Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I'm going to show you how you can install MongoDB on your system and how you can install the Studio 3T on your system and how you can use the Studio 3T as a IDE which connects with the MongoDB and how you can perform the MongoDB operations there in the Studio 3T. So this is the today's topic. Okay, so let me go to the browser and show you how you can download the MongoDB. You can come to the browser and you can search for MongoDB download. Okay. I'm not going to download the Atlas version. I'm just going to download the community server. So you can go here to this link and you will find the option to download there. So let me, yeah, let, let it reload. So you can come down. You can see here is the download option. Whatever platform you're using, you can download it here. So click on the download link and then it will start downloading your MongoDB. I already have downloaded it, so I'm not going to re-download it. So let me cancel it. Now coming to the Studio 3T, uh, you need to download the Studio 3T. So let me go for the Studio 3T download. Open it and you can go to this link. And here you can see it is uh, giving the Studio 3T window. So Studio 3T is a IDE. Uh, which is used to connect with the MongoDB and do the operations of MongoDB. So it is, this is how it look like. Okay, so let me install it. So you can go here and click on the download link and then in some time it will start downloading. I already have, so I'm just going to pause it and cancel. So once you are done with the download of these two softwares on your system, you can install it and uh, how you can check that the MongoDB is downloaded on your system. So you can open a CMD and come here and what you need to do? You need to type the command MongoD minus minus version and to see the version of which you have downloaded. So for me, it is version 6.0.0. Okay, and coming to the Studio 3T, it asks you to, uh, it asks you to create a web, uh, create a desktop application. You can create it and then from there you can directly open it. So I already have did that. So this is about the Studio 3D, how you will connect uh, your MongoDB to the Studio 3D that I will show you. So once your uh, MongoDB is installed, okay, and once it is up, then you can, uh, you can connect the Studio 3D with the MongoDB. Okay, so locally you can connect it. Now coming to the Studio 3D, here you can see uh, it will ask for your uh, this this connection manager page will come or if it is not coming you can see here uh, create a new connection so you can just go and click on this and you can go for the manual configure my connection setting and go to the next now you can here provide the connection name whatever connection you want so let me name it like local connection one and here what you need to do you need to provide the server name which is localhost and this is the default port for the mongodb and just uh, try to save it and then try to connect it so you can see it is connected here i already have created couple of uh, databases here so this this database uh, this admin config and local will already be there when you connect it okay i connected this i created this mongodb stored database uh, you can go inside this and what, what you can see, you can see that uh, there is a folder called collection and this system and view and grid FS bucket is there. In the collection folder, you can create your own collection. You can uh, right click and try to add the collection. And then here you can provide the name of collection, say uh, library, something like that. And you can create it. And how you can run the operations on the MongoDB, sorry, how you can run the operation of MongoDB on this uh, collection. So you can go to the particular collection or you can go to the particular database and right click on that. And here you will find the open IntelliCell. So it will open, a, a, you can see this, this page is coming up. Here you can run your, uh, what, what I will say here, you can run your commands of the MongoDB. So let me try to, run one command db dot collection dot
let me give the collection name as book and then what you can do you can uh, run the find query and here you come so let me try to because I already have some uh, some records into the book collection so that is why I'm taking it out so you can just try to okay let me try to put it into the semicolon and then see how it is behaving so let me try to run it so here you can see I have one record in the collection called book so this is how you connect the studio 3t to the mongodb okay so once you install both of the application you can come to the studio 3t and i already showed you how you can connect to the connect connection manager and connect to the locally and then you can create a collection or a database and then you can run some command there so this is about the mongodb and the studio 3t and how you can connect mongodb with the studio 3t and how the studio 3t is behaving and how it is looking like coming to the uh, one part that I missed so once you download the mongodb so you try to see if the path for this mongodb bin is set to your uh, environment variable or not so if it is already set when when you are going to install sometimes it already uh, automatically it will set path for you but if it is not set then what you need to do I will show you where I installed the mongodb so let me go to the C driver so here you can see I already installed the MongoDB and you can go to the bin until here you need to set the path for this MongoDB. So you can go to the environment variable and open this and come to the path and now you can do edit and then here you can see I already have set the path for MongoDB bin. So till bin you need to set the path and then OK and then OK. So once this all things done then uh, your MongoDB will be working fine and you can connect your Studio 3T with the MongoDB. So this is about this video. Thanks for your uh, support. Please hit the like button.